Welcome to today's live stream. Today we're going to be doing SISA Plus PBQ number seven. We're going to be calculating some risk mitigation techniques here, I think, uh, doing some security control frameworks. Not sure that's the best description for this PBQ, but uh, we're going to look at different risk factors related to this question. Again, if you have any questions, leave a chat or a comment or email info at cybercrafttraining.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so with this question here, I'm going to approach this just like we're going to do on a test. Uh, we have instructions based on the scenario, drag the risk impact indicator, okay, these things, to the appropriate area on the traffic light risk impact grid. Okay. All right, so high, medium, low. So, you know, we can immediately tell from this that this is going to be probably a qualitative risk assessment, not a quantitative risk assessment. Remember, qualitative risk assessments are kind of a loose estimate. They could be based on a number system, like 1 to 10, where 1 to 4 would be low, and 5 to 8 would be medium, and then above 8 would be high. Uh, but they're always generally described. You know, a quantitative risk assessment calculates specific dollar amounts and the dollar impacts. So this is probably going to be qualitative. Let's go ahead and look at the scenario here. Uh, let's see. All right, you are an IT security professional working for an IT management service provider. As part of your responsibilities in helping your company's customers, you routinely assist them with identifying risks. One such customer requires an IT operations risk analysis performed. The company you will be assisting is a small family-owned printing press. You decide to use a qualitative approach with a traffic-like impact grid to present the analysis results. The indicators relate to low one, medium two or high three impact. To complete the impact grid, you have collected various information. Okay, so we have numbers associated with each of these, low, medium, and high, one, two, and three. Interview data, system uptime and the ability to use systems are a medium concern to the owners. Areas that are environment-based are of low concern to the owners. The threat frequency for uptime issues is elevated one level, okay? Uh, that's my input or you know our input the threat frequency for the environment is elevated one level okay you calculate the overall risk as follows overall risk equals impact times annual rate of occurrence plus one so overall risk score if it's one to two it's low three to four is medium and five or higher is greater risk okay Additional information, the in-house server is a Windows Server 2008. Okay, well, we know that's going to be a deprecated server. That's an out-of-date or a legacy server where no patches are going to be produced for it. There's currently no antivirus solution in place. Great. <laughs> spare utility closet. A spare utility closet houses a server. That's kind of common with small businesses. Uh, no password or screen lock policy exists. Okay. A cleaning crew cleans the office twice a week during work hours. All right. This is a this is a strange one. So we have to calculate this, right? And I think it gives us some clues here. So we have to work within the context of what's given here. So let me pull up a, a document here. All right. Up this a bit. All right. Let's see. Uh, so I got a document. And... You know, we have annual rate, first off, ARO, annual rate of occurrence. Now, this is one of these questions where I would invite you to use your notepad. You're going to have practice or scrap paper available to you. Uh, so definitely use that. That's our ARO. We have our impact. Let's put that on the bottom. Impact, ARO, and then our risk. All right, let's see. So, yeah, A or impact, ARO, and risk. So we want to calculate that for each of these. So let's see. For the first one, legacy operating system meets the antivirus software data center access screen lock policy. Now the impact, let's see what clues we have to calculate that impact. Now we don't have anything here that really says what the impact 
no, actually this would be it, the interview data. System uptime and the ability and the ability use systems are a medium concerns to the owner. System uptime and the ability use systems. I think they're trying to say the ability to use systems. So they're missing two are a medium concern to the owners. All right, so that's gonna give that a medium impact for uh, uptime, essentially, for availability. So we're looking at anything related to availability is a medium impact. And areas that are environment-based are of low concern to the owners, that's low impact. Now, I mean, just because the owner says that it's medium and low doesn't necessarily mean that it is. But I think that's all we have to go off of from what the question's giving us. Remember, we have to think about this in terms of the question, not based on our previous experience. A lot of people get in trouble pulling from prior knowledge or previous experience. You have to treat each question like its own little sandbox. So we're going to say for anything avail affecting availability is going to be medium, and anything that's environment-based, physical security related, that's going to be low. So based on that, this would be low. This would be medium. Legacy operating system, missing antivirus software would be effects to availability. And it looks like we have plenty of these drop downs, so. But these, we just have low, medium, and high here. Okay, so uh, data center access, that's going to be low. And this is also going to be uh, low. All right, so we're going to have to. Yeah, that, that should be. Both of those would be low then. Because these, as it says here, the interview data, uh, areas of environment based are low concern to the owner. Okay, so the, these are going to have to be low. Data center access, it says that it's accessible by the cleaning crew during work hours and screen lock policy. Those are both physical security concerns. All right, now the annual rate of occurrence. Now, it doesn't tell us anything about when or how often these would be uh, occurring. So we're going to have to make our best assessment there. Uh, the threat frequency for the environment is elevated one level. The threat frequency for uptime issues is elevated one level. But it doesn't tell us what the level is. Well, actually, the threat frequency for uptime issues is elevated one level. Okay, so I guess what that means is the environment issues, these would be medium. Okay, because it starts at low and go to medium. And then the... the Threat frequency for the environment and threat frequency for uptime is elevated for one level. Okay, so then this would go from medium to high. All right, so it does tell us what's going on. All right, good. Well, then now we have to do a calculation here. Now, it gave us values for each of these. So let's get our little document up. Uh, let's start. Probably a spreadsheet would be better for this, but let's start with the, the first one. We're going to do a series of equations. Now, remember, the equation it said was... The first value times the second value plus one, right? So we have uh, value overall risk score one to two for, no, no, no. Overall risk impact times ARO plus one. And it gave us numerical values for each of these. Low is one, medium is two, and high is three. Okay, so that's not, that's pretty straightforward. Now, let's go ahead and calculate that out for the first one. Uh, let me move this over here so we can see. All right, and this is, so for legacy operating system, legacy operating system, that's going to be a 2 times 3, and then plus, put that in parentheses, 2 times 3, and then plus 1. So that's going to be 6 plus 1, that's going to equal 7. And then... Uh, missing antivirus software, missing antivirus software. That's going to be a 2. It's going to be the same thing. 2 times 3 plus 1. Because the medium is 2, the high is 3, and then we add 1 to the equation. Overall risk, uh, yeah, impact times ARO plus 1. Right, okay. So we're doing this right. So that's... Plus one that equals seven, equals seven, equals seven. Data center access is going to be one times two plus one, which is going to equal three. Okay. And then screen lock policy 
is going to be uh, uh, let's see one yeah same thing one times two plus one. Oh, you passed your security plus congratulations hey great job hope that was helpful hope these videos have been helpful for you yes yeah, isa plus is a great cert to get after security plus especially if you want to work in a security operations center it's really it's really a good one solid certification uh, it's looking at uh, especially now by a lot of hiring managers so you know if you're thinking about sisa plus i definitely recommend it okay so we got a seven seven a three and a three now let's take a look. It gave us a scale of what that would be. That would be, where would that be? Uh, one to two is low, three to four is medium, and five or higher is high. Okay, so then these are going to be high, 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 and then these are going to be mediums. Now we should have calculated that correctly. I don't think we're missing anything. Let me just check the scenario. In-house server. Honestly, this stuff doesn't matter so much. Really, everything is derived from these two statements. System uptime availability and the ability to use systems. It should be ability to use systems or medium concern and areas that are environmental based or of low concern. The only thing we have to know here is that these are, these would affect availability and these are physical security concerns. Uh, we're environmental based. Everything else is calculated off of that. We calculate the annual rate of occurrence based on the impact because the threat frequency is based off the impact, which is not how you would do it normally. In the real world, this is not how you would calculate this. But I think we did this right. Let's see if we're right. Yeah, we did. Okay, great. All right, so everything's correct. Now let's see what their logic is because sometimes the question logic is a little off from the real world. <laughs> All right, the business owner has detailed that the impact of systems uptime has a medium impact on the business. Okay, we did that correctly. Legacy operating system no longer receives patches and the lack of antivirus software both directly impact systems operations with respect to downtime in the event of an incident. Yeah, so these, these two affected availability. We got that. Based on the outdated operating system missing antivirus, you decide to apply a rule of elevating the frequency or annual rate of occurrence for the items by one level that was told to us in the scenario springs them to a high frequency or ARO value. Well, it brings the overall risk to high. This doesn't explain that very well. Oh, no, no, no. It brings them to a high ARO value. Yeah, it does do that for here. Okay. Using a formula created overall risk equal impact times ARO plus one. Yep, we did that with our little note sheet. Uh, you calculate the overall risk is a high impact of seven. Yep. We do this by taking the score for each item applying to the frequency. Yep. Okay, great. And that was the exact equation we did, seven. Okay. Now the business owner is detailed the environmental-based risks have a low impact. These risks include data center accessibility and the screen lock policy. So these were those two here, low. And based on... Let's see, you apply a rule of elevating this value by one. It told us to do that in the scenario and using the formula, we calculate a medium risk level of four. Did we get four or did we get three? We got three. One times two plus one is three. Note it doesn't show its work here. I don't think they calculated that correctly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they didn't, they messed up their math here. This one has a lot of errors, I gotta say. From uh, We were able to puzzle it out, but there's a lot of errors in the question itself. Not the best PBQ. And really, you gotta work with these PBQs. Some of these PBQs on the test are kinda like this. Um, but our, ma our math was sound, our approach was sound, and you know, I think we did a great job here. All right, great. So that was pretty straightforward. Let's see. Yeah, let's call it there. Thanks so much for joining in. I, I hope that was helpful. And if you're thinking about getting your SISA Plus, you know, check out our SISA Plus training. We have instructor-like classes. We have classes coming up. And we have classes pretty much every month. Uh, we guarantee your first time pass. Includes your exam voucher, and you get access to all the PBQ, all the materials from CompTIA that you see here, including the labs, PBQs, assessments, and then you get our assessments that we write custom for the SISA Plus. 
uh, along with our expert instruction with our CompTIA certified and trained instructors. So if you're thinking about getting Cisa Plus, we have self-paced options and boot camps available. Check the link in the description. And if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment or info at cybercrafttraining.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions, happy to help you. Let's get you certified. Thanks so much. Have a great day.